In the next example of 7-4, we are raising a quotient to a power, which is similar to raising a power to a power. Again, let's start by understanding the expanded form to come up with a shortcut. So we, here we have x divided by y together raised to the power of 4. So that means we write this x divided by y out 4 times. So x times x times x times x is in the numerator y times y times y times y is in the denominator. What does this simplify to? x to the power of 4 in the numerator and y to the power of 4 in the denominator. So in other words, we're simply raising each part to the exponent. Now let's take a look at a few examples. In part a here, we have 4 divided by m to the power of 2. So that is 4 to the power of 2 over m to the power of 2. And then we have 2w divided by v raised to the power of 4. So here we actually have three parts. We have the 2, the w, and the v. So first we have 2 to the power of 4. Second, we have the w to the power of 4, and our, in our denominator we have v to the power of 4. We can simplify this further by simplifying the number part, so 2 to the power of 4, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16, and the rest remains as is, w to the power of 4 over v to the power of 4. In the next example, we have a power raised to a power within here. So we have a to the power of 5 raised to the power of 3. Recall from another lesson, that means a to the power of 5 times 3. And this will be over b to the power of 1 half raised to the power of 3 means we multiply. So this simplifies to a to the power of 15 divided by b to the power of 3 halves. Now we have 5 raised to the power of 2. So again looking at each piece separately, we next have this p to the power of negative 2 raised to the power of 2, which means those two get multiplied, over 3 raised to the power of 2. And lastly, we have this q to the power of 6 being raised to the power of 2, which means we're multiplying those exponents. Now let's simplify this. 5 to the power of 2, 5 times 5 is 25. Negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. 3 raised to the power of 2 is 9. 6 times 2 is 12. So we get q to the power of 12. And lastly, we have to take this negative exponent and make it positive. So let's keep everything else right where it is. We keep the 25 where it is. We keep the 9 where it is. We keep the q to the power of 12 right where it is. And this p to the power of negative 4 drops into the denominator, turning the exponent to a positive. Lastly, there are two ways we can do this problem. Let's start with the method we've been using up until now. 2 is raised to the power of negative 3. And g is also raised to the power of negative 3. Because these are both negative exponents, we need to move them to make them positive exponents. So first, this power drops into the denominator to make it a positive 3. And this power moves into the numerator to make it a positive 3. Now we simplify by first keeping the g to the power of 3 as it is, but 
multiplying this 2 to the power of 3 out, 2 times 2 times 2, is 8. As I mentioned, there is a second method. So, second method here. Anytime you have a negative exponent outside of the parentheses and you have a fraction inside, everything inside can be flipped to make the exponent positive. So, in other words, we can take this and flip it to 2, or sorry, g over 2, coming from the 2 over g, and this exponent now becomes a positive 3. So now if we simplify this, we get g to the power of 3, and that's over 2 to the power of 3, which you'll notice simplifies out to the same answer we just got here, g to the power of 3, and this 2 to the power of 3 became the 8 in the denominator.